So Mick, this is an engine out of another Mazda RX-7. It is, yes. So here are the two ports where the spark plugs were fitted. Yes. On the side of the engine. Uh huh. Now, at the other side of the engine here, yep. we've got the inlet ports at the top. Yep. And then the exhaust at the bottom. Yep. So the fuel and air mixture is sucked in this side, gets pulled in. Rotates around, yeah. Rotates around, and then as the rotor's going around, it then pushes out the spent gases out of the bottom here through the exhaust ports yeah so that's really simple yeah and mm -hmm. it's a constant cycle because you're running on the three flanks so it's constantly yeah rotating all around now for those of you that don't know what a rotary engine is stand by for a swift introduction whereas a normal combustion engine has pistons that go up and down turning a crankshaft and has a series of valves that open and close to let petrol in and exhaust out a rotary engine has none of that it just has a triangular rotor that spins around in an elliptical chamber. And as it goes round, it sucks in fuel, compresses it, ignites it, and then pushes the exhaust gas out, all in one go. Got that? Well, let's hope Fuzz has. So, with no valves, that means that you've already reduced the number of moving parts in this engine by quite a lot. Yeah, there's only three moving parts that create the combustion. You've got the eccentric shaft yeah. and one rotor two rotor. Right, so those are the only three bits that move. So the eccentric shaft is the, the bit that goes all the way through the middle and takes the drive out to the gearbox. Yep. Can we take a look inside? Yeah, sure. All right. That's it. Okay. And maybe a little... Oh, here we go. There's no gasket on these. Right, so they just they just use like a... It's just a silicon. Silicon sealant. Yeah. So you kind of slice your way around. You're going to have to, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to just lift up there yeah. now? OK. Whoop. There you go. Just mind the oil pickup. There we it. are. So, bingo. There's the sump. OK, so we need to flip it back over now. We'll take the okay. front timing cover up. OK, so... So the front timing cover is here. First of all, we need to take out the timing pulley. OK front pulley carrier and literally as we pull this out here yeah you'll see a thermal pellet that basically controls the oil injection that goes through the eccentric shaft right okay so the thermal pellet opens and closes and it dictates the the oil that's going through okay. the shaft so just like any engine the number one part really is the oil yes yeah you can never have too much because bear in mind the oil is cooling as right. well as lubricating oh, okay this is the timing cover. Yeah. And it runs the small bearings and also it houses the oil pump. Right, I've got you. I literally don't know exactly what I'm going to see underneath here. So this is great. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, right, there's still not a lot under there. For this the is the drive for the oil metering pump. Right, okay. Which comes in here. Right. And then runs on this, this gear here. Okay. This chain here yeah. goes to the oil pump. Right. And that again is driven from the eccentric shaft. Oh, okay. So the shaft, this is the top of the shaft. Yeah. All this will pull apart now. So as I say, that chain is literally just driving from the oil pump. Yeah. So this is the oil pump for the engine itself. For the engine, and yes. And the oil metering pump, what does that do? That's putting uh, the injection through to the small oil injections that are going into the housings. Right, oh, okay. So, so, so you've got a mist in, in there, so it's like a little stepper motor yeah. that's kicking the, the oil injection in and out. So it needs oil inside the chambers as well it, to, it, to yeah, lubricate, it, it, is that to lubricate the tip? It's a slight lubrication, yes. Oh, okay, got you. Right, what's next? Okay, we just pull off this gear. Okay. Put to one side. Oh, that's yep. it, there we go. Okay. Okay, we'll so there are no it. timing issues between those two? No, there are no timing issues. Right. So it's all done on a keyway. Yeah. Just pop that back in there. And just tease it up. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Okay. So perfect. we're done on this side. Yeah, so that's our oil pump. That's it. So there it goes, squeezing. So yeah. almost, it's almost a little bit like a rotary. Uh, it's, it's basically, it's trying to compress it. Yeah. Compress the. 
so through the a, channels. Yeah, so it's a squeezer. That's right. Yeah, okay. cool. We've taken the front, all the front parts that we need to take off, so we need to flip the engine over now. Okay. Now we need to crack off the torsion bolts. Right, okay. Yeah. Squeeze it down slowly. Once you crack these bolts off, yeah. you've got to rebuild the engine. Okay. Because you're disturbing everything. Right, so this is the point of no return. It is. And are there gaskets between each section? Yeah, you have a, a water gasket which sits in the, uh, the end plate, as we call them. Yeah. Um, and that basically you have an inner water seal yeah. and an outer water seal. Okay. Let's remove the bolts. So okay. if you want to just start pulling just any, them out. any one of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some will be yeah. easier than others. These are really long bolts. Yeah. Now we're ready to lift off the, the rear plate. So okay, if we so lift I'll, it yeah. nice and gently, there we okay. go. Now if you can flick it towards me. Got gotcha. you. What we were saying about the water seals. You've got the, the centre seal, the, the orange seal. Right, OK. That's the inner seal. Yeah. And then the, the black one which has come away, which sits in this other Oh, right, in this other there. groove around the outside there. Yeah. So those, once that's they compress, they keep all the coolant yeah, that's, in. Yeah, that's your water yeah. seal there, And yeah. keep it away from here. On this, this face. Because this is essentially all, all this in here. That's the combustion the chambers. combustion chambers. Where you've got this phasing gear, as we call it. Yeah. The rotor rotates on the phasing gear. And so this is stationary? That's it's stationary. Solid. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, no there's two names. It's stationary yeah. gear or phasing gear, we, yeah. as we call it. Okay. And as you can see, there's a, a, a bearing inside the phasing gear, yeah. which the shaft runs on. Okay. And you can see clearly by the markings. Yeah, so that's just a plain bearing there. Plain bearing, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we'll take that off. Okay. And that's the first plate. Right. Right, this is cool stuff. And here, this is my first ever rotor. So these here are the tips, I take it? Yeah. Basically, we, you've got what you call a ceiling grid, yep. which acts the same as a piston ring would act on a conventional engine. OK. So you, this small circle here, yep. that's what we call a corner pin. OK. That and moves up and down. That moves well. up and down on the spring. There's a spring slightly underneath it. Right, OK. Same on the side seal. Yeah. And again, you've got slight movement there. You just want a little bit of play. Okay. But again, as you see, that pushes up and down. Yeah, yeah, I and can then feel that. to the side here, yeah. which you can just sit down, the important part is the apex tip seal, which right. in effect is the piston ring. Is that the thing that's just flicked that's out? That's the thing that's just pinged out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about okay. that. It's, they're, they're one use only. We never use them. Okay, again. cool. Okay, so. Induction yeah. from this side is rotating around, pushing it around, and then pushing it back through the exhaust port this right, side. Right, got you. So this would be the point just after which the maximum yep. induction had happened. That's right. So as this goes around, this starts it, then it squeezing it. It compresses it, it yep. yeah. And the spark plugs are here, coming yep. in here. Yeah. So it gets squeezed to a maximum at that point, yep. at which point the spark plug ignites that's the it. compressed That's where gas. you get the magic boom. And boom, at this point here, yep. that's just happened, and this and rotor... Then pushes it through the exhaust the, port. Yeah, it's just about to open that exhaust port, yep. and then this tip will come round and squeeze all that exhaust that's gas right. out of the exhaust port, and it'll start all over again. Exactly. It's repeating and repeating and repeating. OK. And this shape here, what's that called again? The triocaloid movement. Triocaloid movement. Yep. So that is the shape that this triangular rotor describes as it goes around yeah. its phase. Yeah. F figure of eight in layman's terms. Yeah, OK, yeah, OK, triacaloid, figure yeah. of eight. Yeah, it is slightly squeezed in at the middle there. Yeah. Perfect. I don't know why everybody's so scared. What's the big fuss? 